we go then. Hello guys, welcome to Cassette Confessions. In this video we'll talk about Thomas Attention Friends from 1986. I've had this VHS since 997 and it's a cracker. It is actually. Um, this was good to be by someone my, my dad knew called John Peel. I've explained it beforehand when I did Path of Nostalgia related to the show of course, so do check the video out, you know, and you'll get some more context there. So it'll be you know, the context of the actual mystery, mystery of these of this VHS and others have gone, but it's worth pointing out. So, I'm just here to talk about briefly about this VHS that I've owned, I've still owned actually, for more than 22, 23 years and counting. So it's a long, it's been me forever, along, as, along with many others. So we'll get down to it. So this is for Series 1, um, in INA 6 this, this came out. Um, there was a one released back in 1985, it had 13 episodes and... It was, it was released on VHS, but also on BMX as well. This is only just released on VHS because VHS is the dominant format, of course. Well, you know, and rightfully so, really. I don't know, I never really tried BMX in my life, so I never I never owned a player or tape, or any tapes or anything like that, so fair enough. Well, VHS, all the way. So yeah, so we had the first eight episodes, you know, of Series 1 from 1984, narrated by Ringo Starr, and I guess, I guess it's a good selection of episodes. So, well, being around the bush, Let's go for the content. So we'll talk about the packaging, of course, first. So it borrows the same um, artwork from the 85 VHS, but also the 85 annual as well, which I did not actually. I did some, had to do some research, basically, to um, basically get around doing it, actually. You know, so, you know, what else can this add for some trivia? And that was where I found, actually. So it shares the same artwork as the 85 tape and the annual, of course. Behind it, actually, it's a bit, it's a bit interesting, because you have a picture of, like, I think it's from Trouble in the Shed. I th it is actually, yeah, I think it is, because I mean, you know, yeah. And it's, the artwork back there is quite patchy, excuse me. Um, it's quite a bit patchy, because it's all like box block colors, and you know, it's all, it's all craft, it's like stitched together, like crafted together hastily, but it's all right, actually. I mean, the version I've got, well, my copy has got like, this like highlighted mark on it, on the use, use certificate bit. Very much. I think that's that's been there for years. So, again, it's second hand it was probably uh, when John got it back in the day. So yeah, um, and also my version has the black spine, of course. Um, inside has the salt has the um, what do you call it? Um, embossed ident of the video collection, which is very nice, very. You know, really, I rarely see any, well, in terms of videos as I've, I've owned, that's the only one that has it, actually, in its original black casing with an ident embossed. It's lovely. You know, it's quite nice. It's, you know, and between you and me, this is going to be a funny thing, but um, as a little side thing, I used to touch it as for good luck. That's how weird I am, you know, touching the little ident just for good luck. I don't know. It's just there. I mean, I've, I've done, you know, I have a chance to see it or anything like that, I've just Bring it out and just touched it, you know, like, just bring it, tap it or something, you know, tap it, you know, and just feel the, um, the, embo the embossedness of it. Very nice. And, you know, that's just one of the weird, that's one of the weird, weird things, really, you know. Well, I'll bring it out there. I'm just telling about, you know, it's childhood pretty much, so fair enough. So, that's really about it, really, with the packaging thing. So, it's decent enough. Let's go to the content now, the video content of it. Um, so, we start off with the, with the warning screen first of the original video collection item, the first version of it, you know, from 84 to 86, and there's no, there's no item after it, it's just a warning screen, and it cuts into the tar sequence. And I never noticed it first when I was younger, but now it's a bit strange, it is, you know, it's like, there should be an item, there isn't one, <laughs> you know, but they just say, just, you know, it's just copyright warning, and, and, and boom, you're just, in the, you're just in the episodes, really, so, yeah, I just find it very strange. Really, and I don't think there's one at the end. I think it's just, I don't know if there's one at the end. I don't think there is. No, there isn't actually. It just cuts the little tie screen of Britt Alcroft's Claire Wolf. No, yeah, Britt Alcroft, Alcroft's Claire Wolf features, and it just and it just goes like that. So it's a bit strange, really, you know. Um, and then we've got the episodes, of course. You know, Thompson Gordon, Brinson classic. I love the music in that one. You know, like you know, with Gordon's theme and everything else. You know, you really, 
you know, that's the one sort of the main things I love about that, that story. It's just the music that really gets to it. You know, it's very good. Then you've got Emmett and Gordon, of course, which combines two stories, of course, which is Emmett's Day Out and Emmett and Gordon from the, from the first book. Um, nicely done. It's nicely seamless, it is, in, in that story. So it's pretty good. So that's sort of Henry. Um, again, another classic. Um, very famous on the internet, like, in top tens of, like, you know, I would say... I'm trying to think, what, what was the other one? Like creepiest episodes of, you know, top 10 creepiest episodes of Jones TV or something like that, or shocking moments or anything like that. And, he, and you know, in top 10s, they tend to appear like that. Excuse me for my hand. Um, it tends to appear in that most time ever, you know, since the internet, but also it's become more prominent as, you know, as time goes on. So we're still a good one. It's, you know, again, sad story of Henry. It does prove it's sad, yes, of course. I'm pretty good. Then we got Edward and Gordon Henry. Um, it's all right episode, to be honest. It's a bit filler, but... It's okay. It's all results from Armand in, in Sad Story of Henry, as usual, with the same in the book. And, yeah. All right, very much. Then we've got Thomas's Train. So, gave me out. My favourite episode of all time for that, from the show. Always always has been, maybe because of... I've said it too many times on too many, you know, on a few tapes, very much. So, I'll get to more of that later down the line, with, with, you know, because it tends to... That episode tends to reappear time and time again. You know, on the sh you know, with my collection, of course. So, it's a stand of mine. It's just a simple story of him just pulling his train and just forgetting, really. You know, like he has, he's not pulling anything at all. It's just a simple story, but, it's, but I love it. You know, it's always stuck out to me. One of my very, it comes out very nostalgic. It does in play in many ways. So, it's one of my absolute favorites. It is, you know, top five, top three, very much. It always, it's always there. You know, then we got Thompson and Trucks, um, episode six, which is again a good story. It is. I do enjoy that one. You know, it's another. Favorite of mine, of course. Thomas and the Breakdown Train, great, you know, very good, interesting little story. Of course, you know, it does a bit. It's a bit strange actually because he takes the cranes, not the coach as well, which is a bit, a bit strange actually. Even though, <laughs> you know, a bit, yeah. But it's a little continuity. It's a little nitpick. I mean, people are pro probably out, you know, many times there, but that's just a thing. Again, the music as well. Michael, G Mike, O'Donnell, Junior Campbell actually do a really, really good job on this, so I am very pleased. Very pleased about it. So, yes. And then finally, we've got James and the Coaches. Combines two stories. Uh, James at the top hat and James and the bootlace. Again, like Edward's, Edward and Gordon, it's seamless it is. You know, it's like... Again, you know, it seems to go... It seems to take bits and pieces from, you know, um, stories. But it seems to blend well together. So it's a decent little story to do. And that rounds up the VHS content, of course. So, it is a good VHS, of course. It's a brilliant start to this, you know, to series one. And I am... Still, I'm still, you know, it's again, it's a nice little way to introduce to what is to come, of course. Um, depends how what well my opinions take on for the next releases, but who knows. So, brilliant start. Again, good. The first episodes of Series 1 are great, of course. It's a nice little... Again, good one. And that's it, really, to be honest. I have nothing else to say. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching uh, Cassette Confessions, and I'll see you, as always, for the next video. And... Goodbye.